I'm going to be talking to you about a particular kind of market structure which Fran referred to, which is called perfect competition. If you remember what Fran said, perfect competition is a market in which there are very, very many competitors, all producing the same product, all with the same degree of knowledge, they all have the same technology available to them, no one has an advantage over anyone else, so to speak. So this seems to many people like an unrealistic scenario, but in fact, we can think of real world markets which at least approximate a perfectly competitive one in some respects. Companies or businesses that are located in other parts of the world. So for example, local bookshops now have to compete with bookstores in the UK and in the US due to the innovation of the internet. And in the case of agricultural products, Australian farmers don't just compete with other Australian farmers, they compete with farmers in other countries around the world so that we can sensibly talk about a world market for certain kinds of agricultural goods, such as tomatoes and bananas and so on. And that's partly because of a technological innovation as well, that is, now we, can, we have genetically modified fruits and vegetables and there's better refrigeration technology than ever, ever before. So it means that farms on the other side of the planet can now import their goods into Australia and compete with local farmers. So again, we would be talking about a situation where there's very, very many sellers in the marketplace, everyone selling approximately the same type of good, everyone has the same level of knowledge, everyone's facing, got the same kind of technology available to them. So although the model or the uh, simplified representation of a real market that we're going to look at is uh, somewhat simplistic and in some respects unrealistic, it nonetheless approximates some real world markets to a sufficient degree that we can call it a useful model.